17 years after a brutal attack, an Orleans County man is facing a charge of murder. David Ricks has been serving 20 years in prison for assaulting Devante Boston, who was just four years old at the time. Prosecutors say Ricks was living with Devante's mother in 2002 when he slammed the child to the ground and didn't take him to the hospital for days. Devante sat in a vegetative state until he died in 2017, and now prosecutors are calling his death murder. Kayla Green talked with Devante's family about all this. Devante was my first kid, first son, first kid to born, my mother's first grandchild. But because Wilbert Boston's son Devante was attacked when he was four, Wilbert had to watch him live in a vegetative state for 15 years until he died two years ago. His life was taken away from him um, at an early age, and, uh, <clears throat> and he just didn't get to grow up. He didn't get to live life. Orleans County District Attorney Joseph Cardone says the years Devante did get weren't easy. He uh, lived a very difficult life. Um, uh, he was unable to show any emotion or, or uh, communicate or, or move um, at all during those years. And now the man Cardone says is responsible may have to pay. Devante's aunt Karen Boston says after hearing the news, she slept better than she has in years. He took life away from my brother's first child, my first nephew. He didn't get a life with us, so why should David live the rest of his life out? Justice is what Karen and Wilbert want. I promised him. I was going to fight to the end. I promised him I wasn't going to give up. I was there to the end when he passed away. I held his hand all the way until death and, and said goodbye because I wanted him to know <clears throat> that I loved him that much, that I loved him that much. After Devante's death, Karen started the blue light fight in his honor. Each year on Devante's birthday, she encourages people to put blue lights out on their houses to commemorate Devante and how hard he fought all those years. Adam. Okay, well, that one is uh, that one's tough to watch. According to the Department of Corrections, Ricks was set to have a parole hearing this month. He also had a conditional release date set for July. The DA says he'll be arraigned for the murder charge sometime this month.